Hi, and welcome back to Two Minutes with the VA. Today we have a question from Mimi, and Mimi asks, she recently started her VA business part-time, and she and her husband have talked about him eventually joining her part-time, or her full-time, so that they can both be with the kids during the day, and, and uh, you know, the more family unit. She wanted to know how long it took before Tom and I, as those of you who know Tom works with me full-time currently, uh, how long it took for him to be able to do that, and if there's any type of advice I could give. Um, I believe it was about three or four years in whenever Tom was able to uh, join me full time. As far as advice, um, there's a couple of different things I can tell you. Uh, the first is make sure you have separate office spaces, which I know that you think is going to be ridiculous, but whenever you're working together all day and then the kids come home from school or they're here all day, um, and then, you know, nights together, it's, it's a lot of togetherness. <laughs> and, um, and that's all fine and great, but uh, by us having separate office spaces, and we do like we would in a traditional office. I'll Skype him, um, or text him, or I'll go and knock on his door. Um, but I, I think that's really helped as far as our own mental um, separateness that we needed. Uh, the other thing is um, make sure before he leaves his full-time position that you're able to cover all of the family needs with what you have now. That includes, you know, everything from your house to your car, but also things you don't think about, like your health insurance, um, retirement, all that stuff that, you know, we tend to overlook as far as benefits go. I mean, there are going to be some savings. There won't be the cost, cost of the gas and the clothing and all, but, um, you know, the insurance stuff is a big deal, especially because self-employed insurance, look into that. It's not near as good as what he probably has now. So you're going to have increased costs for your health insurance. So don't just figure, oh, the $500 they take out is going to be enough. It's not. Um, that's probably my biggest challenge, being self-employed. Um, you know, and make sure that it's right for you guys. But make sure, you know, it, it, it can be tough. It can be tough. So think about it and really talk honestly about what your expectations are and what your duties are going to be compared to his. Um, a lot of times, you know, you may be working less than him if you are handling the administration of the business um, as well as client work. Um, so, you know, make sure your expectations are in line and, and, you know, all that good stuff. The other thing I'd like to tell you is that Tom has decided to go back to work full time. Whenever he left his job, the main reason uh, was so we could work together, but also he wanted to go back and pursue his degree. Uh, so Tom is working on getting a teaching position as we talk. But uh, I'm happy for him, but I am going to miss him, I will admit. All right, I hope that helps you out. If you have any other questions, Mimi, just drop me a line.